we have learned that factorization is the reverse of multiplication when we factorize an expression we write it in terms of the product of its factors so if we have to factorize this expression then we need to find what is the common factor between the two terms of the expression we see that t is being multiplied with 3x in this term and in this term t is being multiplied with 5a so t is a factor of this term and t is a factor of this term as well so t is a common factor of these two terms hence we can take t to be a common factor and write the remaining parts as 3x plus 5a and this is the factorized form of this expression so t is a factor of this expression and 3x plus 5a is a factor of this expression so we need to find out what is the common factor between the different terms of an expression now if we have an expression like this how do we find the common factors in a similar manner we consider the different terms of the expression so this is a term of the expression this is another term of the expression and now we will find out what is the common factor between the two terms of the expression so for the first term the factors are 3 into x into y plus 2z these are the irreducible factors of the first term so 3 is a factor x is a factor y plus 2z is a factor because it is being multiplied with 3x so this is a binomial but it is a factor of this term because it is being multiplied with 3x now when we consider the second term and try to write it in terms of its irreducible factors it becomes 5 into a into y plus 2z so these are the three irreducible factors of the second term so what is the common factor between these two we see that y plus 2z is the common factor of these two terms of the expression so we can take y plus 2z common as we had done earlier we take y plus 2z common and we can write the remaining parts as 3x plus 5 into a is 5a so this is the factorized form of the expression so till now we had seen that we took only single terms or monomials as the common factors of different terms of the expressions but as we had seen in this example we can also take expressions with more than one term as a common factor between the different terms of the expressions so here we have taken a binomial that is an expression containing two terms as a common factor between the terms we can take an expression with any number of terms as a common factor between the two or more terms of an expression now solve this question you need to factorize 5p into a plus b plus 3q into a plus b so we start by considering the different terms of the expression so this is a term this is a term what are the different factors of the different terms so for this term we have 5 into p into a plus b for this term we have 3 into q into a plus b so a plus b is the common factor as we can see so we mark out a plus b as the common factor we take a plus b common and write the remaining part within the bracket so the remaining part here is 5p the remaining part here is 3q 
phi p plus 3q and this is the factorized form of this expression where we have taken a plus b as the common factor among the terms of the expression. Now factorize this expression. So we need to find out what is the common factor between the different terms of the expression. So we see we have a 6 here and a 20 here. So 6 and 20 have 2 common. 6 and 20 have 2 as their common factor. So we take 2. Again these 2 terms have p minus 2q as a common factor. So we take p minus 2q and now we write down the remaining parts within the brackets. So we had 6 into p minus 2q whole square. We have already taken 2 into p minus 2q. So 2 into 3 gives us 6. So we have a 3 here. p minus 2q into p minus 2q gives us p minus 2q whole square. So we have a p minus 2q here. We put a minus sign. Now 2 into 10 gives us 20. We have a p minus 2q here and we have a p minus 2q here. So we don't have anything else here. And now we can simplify it to get 2 into p minus 2q into 3p minus 6q minus 10. So this is the factorized form of this expression and we cannot factorize it further. That is we cannot break it down into simpler factors. If we consider this factor, we see that these two terms have three common. These two terms have two common. But all three terms do not have any factor which is common to them. So we cannot reduce it into a simpler form. So this is the final factorized form of this expression. Now let us try and factorize this expression. So consider the different terms. This is one term. This is another term. This is the third term. If we notice, we'll find that this term has p minus q plus r and even this term has p minus q plus r. So these two terms have a common factor. What about this term? We see it does not have p minus q plus r. It has negative p plus q minus r. But we need p minus q plus r so that we can take something common between them. So what if we try and take a negative one common? If we take a negative one common, we will have P minus Q plus R. Because negative one into P gives negative P. Negative one into negative Q gives plus Q. Negative one into R gives negative R. So now these three are the same. This, this and this are the same. So now we have a common factor among all three. So we can take P minus Q plus R as the common factor. And now we see what is left. Here we have an A left. Here we have B and a negative 1 which was taken common from this. So B into negative 1 which is negative B. And here we have a negative C. So, negative C. So, this is the factorized form of the given expression. Here, if you notice, we have taken an expression containing three terms as a common factor among the different terms of the given expression. So, we can take an expression containing any number of terms as common. So, this is a factor. And even this is a factor. So a factor of a term 
or a factor of an expression can have any number of terms.